Sea in the north of Israel and it is hot 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 and um, I'm making a habit of leaving Jerusalem once a month it's a privilege and an honor to live in Jerusalem in God's holy city in the city of rejoicing but it's also really important to leave Jerusalem um, and then to come back in and to continue it's a very intense place and God is good it's so interesting I'm I kind of just really trust the spirit to lead and guide me as I speak a couple of times people have uh, made a comment you know I don't always agree with your posts and why would I even think that they should <laughs> it's like in a way it's like irrelevant because it's like of course you don't always agree because you are a different person and so that brings me to my next point uh, we need to celebrate who we are in God and if every time we pick a bone with people when we don't agree with them really what we're trying to do is we're trying to deflect our pain this is my opinion um, or my two shekels we're, we're trying to deflect our pain you see if every time we trigger if every time somebody agitates us and we want to put it back on them and say you did this wrong you acted wrongly you behaved wrongly we are deflecting and we are actually cutting off our own blessing because every time we do that we lose the opportunity to get healing and so yeah, people can act inappropriately, absolutely. And especially if they're in your home, you have a right to say to them, look, I, I need you to stop behaving that way because, you know, I'm not comfortable in my home. Okay, but we're, we're not at home now. Let's say we're wherever we are. If you're not comfortable, uh, it may be because you grew up differently, you're a different kind of person, whatever. It could be a, a myriad of reasons. Um, but let's not cut off our own blessing by uh, putting our upset on other people as if they were wrong. Because we've all got issues. If you're living and breathing, you've got issues. We've all got issues. You know, Jesus said, take the plank, plank, plank out of your own eye before you tell your neighbor about the splinter in their eye. So if everything is everybody else's fault and everybody's acting wrongly, it's time to take a look at yourself. And um, the other thing I want to talk about is, it's been so much on my heart, is the imbalance of we are spirit beings, our spirits come alive, we receive Yeshua as our Lord and Savior, Jesus as our Lord and Savior. And uh, the same power that rose Yeshua from the dead lives in us. But we still have a soul and we still have a heart. And so we need to get balanced because many, many believers, uh, I'll include myself, no problem. Um, we love the Lord and we live to serve him. But there are parts of us that we have not let Elohim, God the Almighty, come into in our hearts and heal. And he's not storming his way and he's a gentleman, the word of God says. And so until I really cry out and ask him to come into that part of my hardened heart, the callous part of my heart, the shut down part of my heart, he's not coming in. And so he wants to bring me to a place where I invite him in because then he can do the healing. And so um, we need to get the emotional healing because there's only so much we can do. There's only so much we can advance the kingdom of God. There's only so much we're limited until we get some more healing. Now, uh, a new friend of mine and I were talking the other day and she was saying, you know, we may not be completely healed. And I think that's true until we go to heaven because we are fallen human beings. But let's get on the healing curve. Let's want, let's, let's want to get healed. Let's, let's strive to get healed. We need to get healed. Let's, you know, and, and myself and my students have all testified that uh, the dance work that, that we do with the voice and the body, um, when you put those together, we're a force to be reckoned with in the kingdom of God. Uh, but also, 
um, this work is bringing healing and restoration into our lives because when you address the body, when you do body work, you touch your heart, you touch your soul, and you're already born of the spirit. So the heart, soul, body, mind, soul, and spirit come together. Also, I want to say uh, there's a lot of people who have mental problems because of trauma and they've split off into different personalities or whatever the mental illness might be. God is using this work to bring minds together to heal minds. And wow, I'm so happy to be a part of it. Um, so if we'll, if we'll say yes to God, he will use us powerfully, but let's get our own personal healing and let's stop telling people what's wrong with them. Because what you're doing is you're deflecting your own problems. And so, so let's do what Yeshua said. Let's do what Jesus said. Let's take the plank, large piece of wood out of our own eye be tell, before we tell our neighbor to take the teeny, teeny, incy bincy katanchic little splinter piece of wood uh, out of their eye. Uh, let's, let's stop deflecting our pain onto other people and blaming them. And let's start taking responsibility for our own lives. God bless you from the Mediterranean Sea.